Um, I never did a better job for sure. Um, communicating, talking, being tied in, um, making an extra effort, uh, offensively, defensively, um, matching uh, their physicality um, and their style of play. Um, just uh, making a play in front of me, you know, first half, uh, a little sped up, losing the ball on cuts, um, uh, kind of out of it a little bit, just trying to fill the game out. Um, just wanted to be aggressive, make the plays that are in front of me, stay in the present, read what the defense was, was giving me. Um, you know, Dame uh, draws a lot of attention, you know, and uh, he made some uh, great passes out to me uh, <clears throat> for open threes, you know, taking my shot, trusting the work that I put in. Um, but just uh, trying to make winning plays in the second half, trying to make something happen uh, on both ends of the ball, uh, whether that was just being in the right spot at the right time, being physical, um, taking away uh, their first looks and the plays that they were running for whoever I was guarding, and um, just trusting each other on the offensive end, um, I think was what I was able to do. Uh, it was a big play, you know. Uh, we, were, we knew what they were trying to do. Uh, Dylan Brooks was being really physical, trying to die, deny him. Um, and, you know, he was able to, to play through that, uh, collapse the defense. Um, I was just trying to find the opening um, in case uh, he got in trouble. Um, he saw me. He was able to kick it out. I think the ball bounced a little bit, and uh, Steven Adams was running out really hard. Um, you know, shot fake him and uh, get to my one dribble pull-up. I practice every single day with my trainer, um, AJ. So uh, just able to, like I said, just – Take my time and make the plays that are in front of me and not being sped up. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we're not going to get, you know, too excited and looking uh, uh, ahead too much. But um, I think it's a it's great for us to, you know, to, to get a win. Uh, at home the way we did and then come on the road and get a gritty win like we did uh, tonight um, and, and learn from it. You know, you can always learn from each and every game, whether you win or lose. Um, but uh, I think it's a good momentum, uh, a good way for us to, to see how hard we got to play, uh, how tied in we have to be, um, how physical we have to be, um, and how focused we have to be for the full 48 minutes. You know, teams are going to make runs. We're going to make runs. But um, as long as we're able to, you know, stay tough, stay together, um, and feed off one another. Um, we put ourselves in great position uh, to win. And I think that's what we did the last two games, you know, whether or not we gave up a big lead or whatever, you know, we figured it out. And that's what you have to do in this league. This league is, is tough. It's, it's hard to win this game. And um, I think uh, uh, these two games uh, really uh, tell how, how hard we have to play and, and, and the style of basketball we can, we can, uh, we can play. Uh, love, love what Nas has been doing. Uh, not just this game, but um, a lot of games. You know, his 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 effort, his hustle, um, his physicality. You know, keeping play possessions alive for us, crashing the the offensive uh, glass. So you got what, four four offensive rebounds. Um, the last one is a really big one. Um, but his energy and effort is is big time for us. You know, we need him to continue to do that. Um, that's how he makes his impact. You know, um, the energy that he brings it, it lifts everybody. Him making. Uh, hard nose drives to the rim, getting and ones, dunks. Uh, you know those are min momentum swinging plays, uh, and he's been really doing a really good job of that uh, this year. Hey Norm, Chauncey said that he kind of reminded you guys and challenged you guys about matching their physicality, especially with what happened in the last game. What exactly did he, did he say to you guys? What was his message? Did you not hear me? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Is it on? Hello, hello, hello. I hear you. Can you hear us, JT? You got me? No? Okay. Boo. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shoot him a text. I can hear you guys. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, Chauncey mentioned that he sort of warned you guys during the game at halftime, something like that, about matching their physicality. You talked about it a little bit, but compared to how you guys played the last time against them when they ramped up the physicality, he wanted you guys to learn from that 
and uh, process and, and handle it differently this time around? What exactly do you say to you guys? Uh, you know, that that's just how they play. You know, uh, at the end of the uh, half, you know, they had some uh, key uh, plays, maybe a, a missed call or whatever. Um, and yeah, I think we turned the ball over three or four times in a row after that. Um, but he came in and said, that's how they play. You know, they, they want to be physical. They want to grab, they want to hold. Um, and they're used to it being one-sided, you know, and we have to match that coming out in the second half. And we, if we do that, we'll be just fine. I thought we were able to do that. You know, top to bottom, whoever was in the game, um, we were really physical, um, taking them off their line, making them earn everything that uh, they were getting. Um, and if we play like that you know, from the start of the game, we set ourselves up. Um, but I like the way we played. Uh, I think we definitely uh, rose to the occasion and matching their physicality and, and how they were playing. We're definitely scrapping. We're definitely fighting, uh, being physical, uh, getting them off them, making them uh, earn everything. And that's the style of basketball, running right basketball we have to play. Thanks. Honestly, I've never seen anything like that before. Uh, I'm not going to say too much, but I don't want to lose my money. Uh, but, yeah, I, I've never seen it. I don't know the rules on that, but, I mean, I've never seen you go two possessions and then stop the game for another free throw. Um, that's for the NBA to figure out. Um, but, yeah, it was it was definitely weird. And I guess what, what were you thinking with that eight-second eight violation? I mean, I, I know I'm sure you probably weren't very happy about it. But. Um. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to, uh, I mean, Dame, I think, was dribbling uh, on the right side. They blitzed him. I was just trying to make sure that it wasn't a, a live ball turnover. Um, I saw, I think it was Tyus Jones or somebody was in the middle. So I ran to just meet the ball to grab it. Um, and then look, try to look at the clock, see where it's at, and I try to throw it to Nas. But it was, it was a, you know, a junk, a junk play. But um, I was just glad it wasn't a live ball turnover. Um, but yeah, you just, you just try to make something happen at the end, you know, uh, uh, to, to get the win and make sure that we know we're not uh, in trouble. So, I mean, stuff like that happens, but we're able to figure it out.